Okay, Christina, um, from what I understand, you have a question about Part B. Uh, basically, the salaries are given for um, Benjamin's employees, and they're given in thousands of dollars here. So 20000 30000 45000 and then 80000 is his is his salary. So what happens is Benjamin uh, has had really good business lately, and so he's got $25,000 in bonus to distribute to his employees. And so what he does, one option is to give each employee, including himself, $2,500. And so let's get the salaries. I'm just going to copy the table over here um, to Excel. So we'll just paste it in here, and we'll call this salary. And then uh, the bonus. And then we'll create a uh, salary called, uh, or a column called salary plus bonus. So the uh, the bonus, now remember, is $25,000, but you have to divide $25,000 by a thousand, um, and then you you know you get 25. So, uh, or if you wanted to just say 2,500, 2,500 divided by a thousand gives you 2.5. So each employee is going to get 2.5 thousand, which is really 2,500. So let's go back over here. We'll say 2.5 is what each employee is going to get. We'll send that down, just click on the box to send down, and then we're just going to add the two bonuses. So to add the two bonuses, we're just going to hit equals, and then this number plus this number. You can just click in the cells and then enter. Okay, so we'll send that down, double click, send it down, <clears throat> and then we're going to find the average of this new data set. This is the new data set with the bonus included. So just click on the little function button, and we're going to find the average here. If you, if it doesn't come up, just type in average up here, and it'll come up. So the average, and then highlight the data. Click OK. So we get 52.5. So you probably have an error somewhere in your arithmetic. You can just check your numbers to make sure they match up with what I got here. Okay, hope this helps. <clears throat> Take care.